I love everything you just shared. And, you know, like I said, we're so on the same page and we've read all the same things and studied all the same things, but it's always still so interesting to hear someone else explain it back to you from their unique perspective, because as you're talking, I'm like, yeah, oh my gosh, yes, that that makes sense. And, you know, I was thinking about like this flow state that we tap into, right? Where when you're like, where does this come from? Like, like, I feel like I channeled my book, right? I wrote the thing in like a month and it just like poured into me and I'm tapping into that field. So I guess, and and also I think this, I was also thinking about past life regression hypnosis. Like that's why things like that work because all of that information is stored on that frequency that is your soul. Like you were saying, right? It's, um, right. I think it's Bruce Lipton talks about that where he's like, you know, like you have a channel, a frequency and let's say you're playing it through a TV and you're alive right now. And then you're, you're, you pass over to the other side, like that frequency doesn't go away. It's just the TV died. Right. But then right. if you get a new TV, you can still tap into that same channel. It's like your frequency never stops. Right. And I love that explanation too. So a lot of what you were describing is how I describe the quantum field, right? How we can manifest using the quantum field. And it's this, this space, this ether. So is that the same as the Akashic records? Are they one and the same? Or do you see them as two different things? 